Hello everyone, it's Benny, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a one tick, that's right, one tick rising edge adder. And this is it, this is the one tick adder, it can take any two numbers you want and add them in just one tick. Now before I go ahead and demonstrate this, I'd like to show you sort of my test rig that I have set up. So these are the inputs, you've got five and three, those are my test inputs. And they're going for these torches, because the adder actually takes inverted inputs. So that's why they have them going for torches. Now to stop the adder from adding right away, so I can actually demonstrate it to you, what I have is I have two wires with torches, and they're just powering all the inputs, so that when I flip the lever, it's going to turn these off, and 5 and 3 are going to go through, and it's going to add them. So yeah. Now to measure the speed, I have this sort of repeater chain set up. And I actually have two ticks right here to offset the delay of the test rig. One tick for signal extension, and one tick for the actual torch to turn off and the inputs to go through. So, once all that's done, I have one tick for the delay of the actual adder, then it should go down these repeater chains and into these two pistons at the exact same time. So, the result should be eight, and let's see what happens. So as you see, 8 went down at the exact same time as my test line, and the pistons fired in sync. And yeah, so there you go, one tick rising edge adder. Now something else you might have noticed is that when I do this, it actually emits a pulse at the zero tick mark. And because a lot of people think pulses are the spawn of Satan for some godforsaken reason, I'd like to demonstrate to you that the pulse actually doesn't matter. The pulse is at zero ticks, not at one tick. The addition result is at one tick, and since those are two different times, it doesn't matter. Just to prove that to you, I actually have some basic bud memory set up, saving at the precise time that the addition result should be coming to here. As you see, it's saving the test input in eight, not the pulse, just eight. And just to prove to you one last time, if you look, the pulse comes well before the actual addition result. So yes, the, it does pulse, but the pulse doesn't actually affect anything. Actually, something that's actually interesting about the pulse. The pulse isn't meaningless. The pulse is actually the XOR of your two inputs. So if you're willing to do some clever timing, you can actually get a zero tick XOR and a one tick addition from the same circuit. And that's pretty cool. So yeah. And as with all edge-based adders, this has a reset delay. In this case, I believe it's either four or five ticks. I think it's five ticks, but it might be four ticks. And that's actually because I'm being sort of a nincompoop and I'm doing this really weird signal extension thing right here. But I'm pretty sure it's possible to get the reset delay down to 3.5 ticks if you wanted to not do my ridiculous piston thingamajiggy here. In fact, you can probably get the reset delay down to just one point. Well, maybe not that. But you can decrease the reset delay a lot by not doing my ridiculous piston thing. So, moral of the story. If you want to actually build this, don't do what I did. It's a bad idea. Speaking of how I did this, here's how the adder actually works. Now, the whole reason this is possible is because of this concept that was pioneered by Darkroom. If you... Now, remember... An XNOR is just a NOR gate or an AND gate. Now, OR is already instant, so that's usually not the delay, so the question is, can you get an instant NOR and an instant AND? And Darkroom said, yes, if your inputs are inverted. And that's why my adder has inverted inputs. Here's how this works. This right here is the instant NOR gate. If either input turns off, this pi one of these pistons will retract and pull back the block, and that will stop powering this, therefore instant NOR. And there. So either instant NOR or instant AND. This is the instant AND gate. If both of these turn off at the same time, which, you know, they should if you're doing the rising edge thing, control wires, that's what I'm looking for, then this piston will retract, and that will instantly unblock this power, which is just power from the lever, and that will go through the input. So in effect, this is an instant XNOR gate, because it's instant NOR or instant AND. It was a concept pioneered by Darkroom, and it's awesome. It's what makes this one-tick 
adder, or one tick rising edge adder, possible in the first place. So, because of this one tick XNOR we have here, or zero tick XNOR, this instant XNOR that we have here, you, we can actually get carry signals instantly, because this carry will retract instantly based on the XNOR, and the carry will generate instantly because of the instant AND, so actually the carry generates and propagates in truly 100% instant carry logic. So yes, this is 100% true instant carry logic. It, it generates and propagates completely instantly. And the only delay in the entire adder is the one tick XNOR, where I'm XNORing the carry signal, which is done instantly, with the propagate, which is also done instantly. So, yeah, this one tick XNOR, well, technically 1.5, but because I have it set up so the piston retracts and not extends on the rising edge, then this piston can only be zero ticks, meaning the only possible delay is this repeater or this torch, which is one tick. So yes, this is a one tick rising edge adder. The only possible delay is either this torch or this repeater. And it's pretty awesome like that. So yeah, again, if you want to build this yourself, then you'll want to do this one tick n or instant nor and this in or this instant and and other than that it's mostly just normal instant carry other than getting i guess getting the signal from the and into the carry instantly by the way I, the way it's set up it can carry for 8 bits if you really wanted to so yes this can extend for 8 bits and other than that it's other than the instant x nor it's pretty much just a normal instant carry adder, but that one tick XNOR lets it be this one tick rising edge adder, and that's what makes this so special. And with that, I guess I should say I'm not going to do a tutorial on this, because this particular exact block for block design I have here, I have some unwanted buds, and that's why I'm not going to do a tutorial on this design. Also, ridiculous and thing. You don't want this. It's a bad idea. If you're building this, don't do it. It's There's so many better ways of getting your AND signal to your carry line. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. And yeah, so I've told you how you can build it if you really want to build it yourself, but I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this for that reason. So yeah, but either way, I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I'll see you next time.